PEO stands for Philanthropic Educational Organization. And it was started in Iowa. And um, I'm a new member of PEO, which is joining in March of 2020, just before the pandemic hit. So I'm learning a little bit more about PEO as I go along. But they support women to go back to school. And the college that we support is Cotty College, which is in Missouri. What your organization does is you try to raise funds to support both state and international programs related to women. Uh, one of the other areas that I was interested in is what they have the STAR Scholarship, where we took a name of a student that's going to AL, interviewed her, and sent in that she applied for a scholarship, and we, and we did this last October, and she should be finding out in April what type of funding she would receive helping her to go on to college. So it's really taking people that are going to be recent graduates from high school or people that have done a non-traditional career in education and wanting to go back to school and get an education to better themselves. And PEO helps raise funds for educating women. What your organization does is you try to raise funds to support both state and international programs related to women. Uh, one of the other areas that I was interested in is what they have the STAR Scholarship, where we took a name of a student that's going to AL, interviewed her, and sent in that she applied for a scholarship, and we, and we did this last October, and she should be finding out in April what type of funding she would receive helping her to go on to college. So it's really taking people that are going to be recent graduates from high school or people that have done a non-traditional career in education and wanting to go back to school and get an education to better themselves. And PEO helps raise funds for educating women, not only just from high school, but also uh, people that decide to go back to, to, to school. Now, Chapter LP is one of the older chapters I was saying, Council Bluffs, and you need to be invited by invitation. And how I joined, I was doing an event for the Lions Club in Council Bluffs. They were doing a garage sale, and one of the women that came through that was buying, I knew her when her son and my son were in Boy Scouts together. And she said, well, she's going to a PEO meeting. I said, but tell me about PEO. I'd like to know what it is. And so she invited me to a meeting. And so it can be by an invitation or you can do a request to know a little bit. But there are, between Council Bluffs and Trainer, there are eight chapters around this area in Southwest Iowa. And they get together a few times a year, reciprocity, and they're going to be planning a brunch, I think it's on April 22nd, a reciprocity brunch. And it's a one way of raising funds with the group to support different projects for women. So it's women helping women. And we're always looking for new members it's not an organization that's saying you have to be at every meeting. Our theme for our speaker series is for excellence and leadership, look to the woman. And so Joanne Becker, our publicity chairperson, uh, and she was programs chair, went out and through input from other women, they found women that were leaders in Council Bluffs in different organizations. We'd love to have people come and visit and we can get 
uh, more detail when we have these speakers coming in, and it will be open to the public.